Did you know that 90% of the harmful gases from refrigerators go into the atmosphere due to lack of treatment? They are known as fluorinated gases. The global warming potential of these gases is up to 23,000 times higher than the carbon dioxide one and are not only used in refrigeration and air conditioning systems, they are also used in fire extinguishers, solvents, aerosols, insulating foams and in the cosmetics and electronics industries. How to make an adequate use? Control and recycling? If you are a user, reuse responsibly, recycle carefully and control the state of your refrigeration and air conditioning systems to prevent any leaks. Do annual inspections. Ask your supplier about the availability of refrigerant gases and their effects. Don't be tempted to go to illegal markets because uncontrolled channels do not guarantee the safety or performance of your equipment. Demand that the technicians responsible for performing inspections, recovering, recycling and eliminating fluorinated gases have been properly trained and certified. If you are a supplier, stay informed about the current application legislation. Keep yourself updated and look for alternative refrigerant gases. Use R&D for the development of innovative and less aggressive alternatives. Ensure that technicians handling equipment with fluorinated gases are properly trained. Report any customer who does not comply with current regulations or that performs an irresponsible management. Hand over the equipment to be recycled by certified managers. If you are a waste manager, ensure the technicians handling fluorinated gas waste are properly trained. Use R&D to make the recovery and recycling of these gases more efficient. Ensure that the equipment to be recycled is received in good condition in the treatment centres and fight against theft of equipment and metal waste. Report any illegal management that you detect in your community. If you work in public administrations responsible for regulating the use and management of fluorinated gases at local, national or international levels, improve the regulatory framework and ensure its compliance. Include mandatory training on alternative refrigerants with low global warming potential into certification systems. Encourage transition to alternative solutions. Fight against the illegal trade of hydrofluorocarbons and the illegal management of metal waste. Promote actions to inform and raise awareness about fluorinated gases among the general public and end users. And above all, stay tuned for the KET4F-Gas project, the European initiative funded by the Interreg Pseudo programme, which brings together 13 partners and six associates from Portugal, Spain, France and the United Arab Emirates to cooperate and work on interdisciplinary research, development and improvement of technologies for the recovery and substitution of fluorinated gases. Find out more, keep updated and participate in www.ket4f-gas.eu